gentlemen, welcome in Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs, and what a show. Boy, I'm excited about this one. Not only do we have one main event, we have two main events. A title is going to be determined for the first time ever here today, and a challenge tag team, and that ain't all. I'll tell you what, you're right, that ain't all. You talk about the TV title, we've got the special tag team challenge match. Paul Adams made it real clear last week that the Maddox brothers wanted a piece of the Naturals, and the Naturals did not back down. We've got that match right here on today's program. Michael. And not only that, with Paul Adams, you've got a dangerous combination because when he brings a tag team to the area, you know they mean business. And then, of course, the first ever Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling Television Championship will be determined right here on TV today. You know, a match that I personally have been looking forward to all week long. The headliner, Chris Michaels, against Eric the Dragon Andrews for the first ever SAW television title. This is going to be an exciting day of professional wrestling right here. And it is time to get things underway. Hot Rod Biggs, I hope you join me for the commentating and the commentary because you had a lot to what these men are going through. These are, your, are young up-and-coming wrestlers, young up-and-coming wrestlers that are making a name for themselves for the first time ever. And we are having the opportunity to see them firsthand right here, a hotbed of championship wrestling here in Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Well, I'll tell you what, Commissioner Freddie Morton said it best last week. All-Star Wrestling, you're gonna see tomorrow stars today. And I think it's about time to take it to the ring to see these men many times before and I'll tell you hot rod these two men are two that have got to have their eye on the future title belts right here in Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Well, I'll tell you what, not everybody's here for the glory, baby. It's all about winning matches. It's all about winning titles. And these two guys are no exception. You know, I don't know how much Chris Lee knows about Kodiak, but he better watch out for the bear trap, baby, because if he gets him in it, it could be over with early, Michael. And you, as a former champion, Mr. Biggs, you've had the opportunity to be in the ring with both of these men i hate to put you on the spot but uh which way do you think this one may go well i'll tell you what you're right i've been in the ring with both of these men and i can't take anything away from either one of them chris lee a phenomenal young athlete kodiak steve hall he's been on the grind for a long time in this business and i guess only time is going to tell here in the next few minutes we're going to have a definite winner between chris lee and kodiak steve hall well these two men obviously taking their time and checking each other out in the ring one takes one advantage one takes the other kodiak now with the reversal and an arm twist and into a hammerlock from behind kodiak now turns it into a side headlock and right now kodiak has the advantage, changes hands, changes arms, puts it under the right side, and Kodiak tries for the go behind and uh, drops to the mat, and Chris Lee is caught with his arm barred, and this is a very precarious position for Mr. Lee. Well, I'll tell you what, Kodiak, Steve Hall showing that amateur background, baby. He's showing he knows his way around the square circle, and let's just see what Chris Lee can do with it as he delivers a couple of elbows. He's starting to stun Steve Hall, and now Chris Lee's rolling out, and now he's rolling up to the top wrist lock. Right now, he has got that standing wrist lock, and Kodiak goes for the scoop. Nice move, but look at that move. Against the ropes, sunset flip, one, two, and did he get the three almost? It really makes me mad to see two jabronis in the ring fighting over absolutely nothing. You know, there needs to be a champion in the ring, and that's me right here, buddy. You know it, you know it, the people know it, the people out of TV land, they know it. You can't line them up as fast as you can because I'll be here to break them down. I'm managed by the, by the manager of the Millennium, Charmin Charles, right here. Tell him, Chuck. Let me tell you something, guys. If this is the worst that we got to deal with, my day's made. I'll vacation. Steve Hall, he might be a big kid. Look at this monster I've got. Chris Lee, no problem, baby. Hammerjack will go through them as quick as he went through the last guy, as you saw. But I'm going to tell you something right now. Hammerjack is not worried about any man. I'm not about worried about it. Any man that you put with Hammerjack, we're here for one thing only, like I said, to mutilate people, to inflict bodily harm, Michael. I want to see people hurting. I don't care about a belt right now. I want to see bones snap. I want to see pile drivers used. I want to see men's careers ended in this very building. 
Well, Mr. Charmin Charles, I address you by knowing the fact of knowing your credibility in the world of professional wrestling, and your man, Hammerjack, is one outstanding wrestler. But let's not sell folks short, because there are a lot of great wrestlers right here in Southern All-Star Wrestling up and coming. Well, let me tell you this, Michael St. John. I said all I'm going to say, I'll let my man do the talking for me. See you later. Charmin Charles, the manager extraordinaire, and Amberjack, I'll tell you, Hot Rod Biggs, they come jumping right in here, and the action in the ring did not s stop for a second, and both men right now are the worst for wear of it. Well, I'll tell you what, Charmin Charles never, ever at a loss for words. Hammerjack, one of the toughest individuals to ever step foot in the square circle, baby. And they've got their sights set high here at All-Star Wrestling. And Chris Lee hooks Kodiak, but Kodiak with the belly to nice bridge. And he got him. Kodiak with the bridge on Chris Lee to get the win. What a beautiful move. What a way to kick things off right here at Southern All-Star Wrestling. Kodiak gets the hand raise. That's the important thing. We have got so much more great action coming your way, including TV title and special tag team challenge match all today on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Let's take a break. We'll be back. You know, Adam, let me be the first to welcome you here to All-Star Wrestling. You know me and you might not have always seen eye to eye, but I got respect for what you do. You're a young, up-and-coming wrestler. You've made a name for yourself all over this territory, and I want you to tell these fans firsthand just what you're doing here at All-Star Championship Wrestling. Well, it's simple. I'm excited to be here, first of all. I mean, I'm here to rack up victories and take home titles, and I'm not going to accept anything less. Well, I'll tell you what, man, standing in the ring, you've got a tough opponent coming up, but I know you've been in the ring with a lot of tough opponents, and I want to know, what are your plans? Are you trying to make it to the top right here for all these fans at All-Star Wrestling? Oh, I'm not just going to... I'm not just gonna try to make it to the top. I'm going straight to the top, and there's nobody, not even Mike Jablonski, that's gonna stop me. Well, I'll tell you what, fans, with that, let's go to the ring, and let's see if this man's got what it takes. Let's give a hand for Adam Armour. Bell time, and we're underway here for this match here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Adam Armour, Mike Jablonski, and these two single competitors trying to climb those ladders. Hot Rod Biggs rejoins us here at the broadcast position. And I'll tell you, these two, either one of these two could be a champion in this or any other wrestling organization around. Well, I'll tell you what, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Mike Jablonski, probably the most improved wrestler of 2006. The man is definitely on fire here in 2007. But Adam Armour, obviously he's got something to say about it. And he knows that getting a win today over Mike Jablonski is going to put him one step closer to his goal in All-Star Wrestling. Nice standing hip toss that time. And I'll tell you, this man, Adam Armour, has come alive in this match against Jablonski in the early going. You know, Adam Armour looking very impressive with a series of hip tosses and arm drags. Got the big Mike Jablonski down on the mat. Got his arm bar. Got him rich and in pain. And let's just see where he can take it now, Michael. Right now, Adam Armour continuing to work on Jablonski. Jablonski going in underneath for the high scoop slam. Held him up there and dropped him on his back. Off the ropes with the elbow, and Adam is out of the way. And Nobody again. Home, followed up by a big drop kick by Adam Armour, and he's got Mike Jablonski on the take right now, Michael. And Adam Armour coming on strong, sends him into the turnbuckle. There's a clothesline to the right side as he put that across the throat. Back to the second strand. Up. Oh, boy. What a move. Goes for the cover. Wraps him one, two, and all he got was a two count. Well, you know, I tell you what, that might have taken out a lesser man, but Mike Jablonski's up on his feet, not making too good of a showing, but it ain't over until one of these women from the front row sings, Michael. Ha, <laughs> now that was not very funny at all. Now, funny or not, it was true, baby. Yeah. I call him like I see him. Hot and Mike rod. Jablonski right now is showing Adam Armour why they call him the Punisher. Jablonski at 245 pounds out of Mount Julia, Tennessee has had a lot of good training, and right now it's showing to work just because he has the uh, 
Uh, he, he has his opponent in trouble. Let's be honest. He has his opponent in trouble. And Armour now just trying to keep him away as he put that head to the back of the neck. And that can inflict some punishment. Here's Jablonski. Puts him across into the turnbuckles and follows her around with a big splash going in with that boot that time. And that time, Adam Armour got caught on the chin. That hit the button. One, two count is all. And a two count was all that Jablonski could manage as Armour came out from underneath. Well, you know, Adam Armour showing a very valiant effort here against Mike Jablonski. We got one of the greatest referees in the area, referee Kurt Heron, officiating the match, doing his best to keep control between these individuals. But you just seen Mike Jablonski about took his head off with a kick. It still wasn't enough to keep Adam Armour down. What competition we've got in All-Star Championship Wrestling. You made a good point about our referee because here's a man that uh, basically is invisible in that ring until it's time for him to step in, and then he steps in. That's good. Count of two was all he got. Here's Jablonski again with a near fall on Adam Armour. You know, yeah. Adam Armour doing what he can, trying to get the fans out here to support him as he rolls Mike Jablonski up. We got a two count, and that could have been three. Michael Jablonski's up. It cuts him off with a clothesline. Caught him with that short arm clothesline, and down goes Armour again. I'll tell you, the ebb and flow of this match, Hot Rod Biggs, has been something to behold because one man takes the uh, uh, momentum, and then all of a sudden the other man takes the momentum away in just uh, an instant's time. Well, that just goes to show you, baby, that's because we've got the best young talent that the business has to offer. Small right package. All -star wrestling. Small package. Adam Armour with the small package. And he got and he it. just pulled out a win, Michael. Well, I don't know if you can call it an upset, but perhaps Jablonski is surprised because Adam Armour caught him with that small package and got the win. We'll be back with a lot more action coming your way today on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling, and it is a pleasure to be joined by the commissioner of this great wrestling organization, Freddie Morton. And Freddie, I'll tell you, folks are buzzing not only across the South. I've been on the Internet. I've had phone calls. I've had emails. People are talking about Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling, and it is a great opportunity for outstanding young athletes. But one of the big buzzes, of course, the fact of the matter is you're putting athletes first, their health, their careers in front of everything. And number two, what's happening with this tag team title championship? I'm hearing all sorts of rumors. You better straighten it out for us. The buzz is out. We're getting phone calls every day. People are visiting our website. They're wanting to know, what about the tag team tournaments? Well, let me tell you this. In the weeks to come, you're going to find out. But the Naturals are definitely a part of that. The Maddox brothers. We're getting phone calls from all across the country. Everybody is wanting to get on the train. They don't want to be in the caboose. They want to be the boxcar for Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling, and they want a part of the tag team titles. You know, what is so expressively exciting about this is this is the first time that Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling will have tag team champions, but you didn't rank them. You didn't throw in there and get a bunch of sports writers, a bunch of magazine writers, a bunch of internet folks to come on and say, well, these two guys should battle for it. This is a wide open tournament. This is going to be a genuine tag team championship tournament. And I don't think we've had one of those in professional wrestling for over a decade. I think that's exactly right. We're opening up to everybody who is interested. Put your name in the pot, come on down, get you some of Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Be a part of this great organization and go after the gold, because once you get the gold, that turns into the green, the money. And a lot of those matches you will be able to see here on television. A lot of them will be in arenas all around this area for the Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling Tag Team Championship in the weeks to come for this tournament. Now, one other thing on the program today. What a card. The main event, the tag or the uh, TV title, the TV championship will be detied, uh, determined for the first time, but also a challenge match. Paul Adams came and interrupted an interview last week. You came out and said, hey, I'm the matchmaker. I'm the man that calls the shots around here. Then all of a sudden, you've got a challenge tag team match today between two of the leading tag teams in all of professional wrestling. And right here, that's going to be on TV on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. 
And I don't know about you, Michael, but I'm excited about it. I'm excited about today's main event. It'll be a main event anywhere in the country, but you're going to see it today on TV absolutely free. No pay-per-view today on this broadcast. I love it. And our fans at home are going to get to see it. And by the way, check out the website. Give us a call on the hotline. Spread the word among your friends. Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling is for real. And a lot of it has to do with this man right here, the commissioner, Mr. Freddie Morton. Freddie, thanks for joining us. Looking forward to a great card today in that tournament in the weeks to come. Good to be a part of Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. We'll be back and we'll go to the ring for more action right after this, right here. Middle Tennessee Wrestling fans, Southern All-Star Wrestling coming to Millersville, Tennessee tonight at the All-Star Arena Super Court of Action. The Maddox Brothers will be in action. The TV champion Chris Michaels will be there. Farron Fox against Eric Andrews. Hammerjack on the card. Tag team action with the Boogie Woogie Boy and Chris Baum against Ben Jordan and Patrick Miller. And a match. Boy, these two don't like each other, I'll tell you that. Sean Schultz and Shane Eaton tonight in Millersville. That's right, Michael St. Jimmy, about time you saved the best for last. Everybody knows you can't have a wrestling show without a Sean Schultz promo, and Shane Eaton, you know that just as well as anybody. So tonight, in Millersville, Tennessee, Shane Eaton, oh, I'm gonna knock both those teeth out your mouth, boy. Well, there you have it tonight. That is Sean Schultz, Shane Eaton, a crowd favorite tonight in Millersville. Bell time, eight o'clock at the All-Star Arena on Highway 31W, you be there. Hey, we're back with you here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling, Hot Rod Biggs, Michael St. John, and boy, oh boy, first big main event of a double main event here on TV today. This is a special challenge match, a tag team grudge match between the Naturals and the Maddox Brothers. I haven't seen the Maddox Brothers yet in action. Saw them rush the ring last week, Hot Rod, but I understand they are something else. Well, I'll tell you what, the fact that they're associated with Paul Adams tells me all that I need to know about the Maddox brothers, baby. Because if Paul Adams brought them in here, then they mean business. They made no bones about it last week. They want a piece of the naturals, and that's exactly what they're going to get, baby. And you said something right, Hot Rod. The fact that they're with me is all you people need to know. And as far as you people here are concerned, if you really spoke your minds, you'd be speechless. Let's hit the ring, boys. The Maddox brothers and Paul Adams, their manager and mentor, going to the ring. The Naturals, we know what they can do. This is going to be a hot match, hot rod. Absolutely, baby. Only the best from Southern All-Star Wrestling. The Maddox brothers making their way to the ring. Paul Adams, he wouldn't have them here if they didn't mean business. Now all we got to do is see what Chase Stevens and Andy, Andy Douglas, let's see what they're going to do with the Maddox I think brothers. we're going to find out right now because they're headed to the ring and so are we. And they're not wasting any time. Fist of cuffs right off the beginning, Michael. One man in one corner, one man in the other, and they're not being shy about those close fists in any way, shape, or form. Shane and Sean, the Maddox brothers, going into the ring. Hat. They just were in there and being cocky, and all of a sudden the Naturals came flying in here and in very natural fashion went right to work on the Maddox brothers, and they are taking the match right to the floor. Well, I'll tell you what, it didn't take it a while to get hectic right here at All-Star Wrestling. They, like you said, they've already taken it to the floor. Chase Stevens got Sean Maddox out on one side, hammering him with left and right, took it for the suplex. Suplex on the concrete floor, Michael St. John. This is concrete floors, folks. There is no padding around this ring. And Hot Rod, you know how hard that can be. You just fall on your knees and you know how hard it is. You can imagine taking a move like that. In the meantime, Douglas and Stevens continuing to work over the Maddox brothers. And it, uh, Paul Adams is having a hissy fit in the corner. You know, I think just maybe Paul Adams and the Maddox brothers may have underestimated the Naturals just a little bit there, Michael. Well, one thing about, look at this, right into the wall here of our wrestling studio. Well, I'll tell you what I see right now. I see two tag teams that don't look very concerned about winning a match. I see two tag teams that look like they showed up this week to fight. And indeed they are, and it is a wild and woolly affair thus far. You know, the word grudge match was invented 
for professional wrestling, and that's what we've got right now, Hot Rod Biggs. We've got us an old-fashioned grudge match. Well, you know, Paul Adams was out here. He made the challenge. He said that the Maddox brothers were going to take care of business, and they have wasted no time taking it to the Naturals back and forth. These guys are beating the tar at each other right now, Michael St. John. And right now, the Maddox brothers have things going their way as both of the Naturals are the worst for wear, and this match has not even been in the ring. It's all on the floor. If you can even call it a match, it's been more like a brawl on the floor. You know, you got Shawn Maddox with Chase Stevens, Shane Maddox with Andy Douglas, and it looks like Andy Douglas has made his way to the center of the ring. Well, we got one out of four in the ring, so that's a start. Maybe we can start this match in the ring for what it is meant to be because it's been anywhere but in the ring. And right now, uh, it, is, uh, it is amazing that these guys are dishing out the kind of punishment. Obviously, the natural's quite upset Look at that move. The tag team continuity showing strong with the Naturals as Andy Douglas goes for an unsuccessful pin attempt. Andy Douglas right now joined with his partner into the ropes. Double underhook and down goes the Maddox brother. You know that's Sean we got in the ring right now. Duck the double clothesline attempt, but they caught him with the double flying shoulder tackle, and Sean Maddox is down for the count right now. He is Michael. down. Shane going for the cover. Got a two count, but Sean Maddox kicked out luckily because right there could have spelled defeat for the Maddox brothers. Paul Adams also at that time had his attention turned to Shane on the outside, and now from the outside, Shane doing the damage. And I'll tell you what, that right there, that, that shows these guys know what each other's thinking. That's the mark of an experienced tag team. I'll tell you what, Shane knew exactly what Sean was thinking. He whipped him into the ropes, and they did what they had to do to get the advantage in this matchup. Something to be said for brother tag teams in that uh, a lot of that ring savvy comes natural because they've been probably doing this since they were kids. You know, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, Andy Douglas is in a very bad predicament right now as he's tied up in the ropes and he is getting worked over right now by Shane Maddox. And Shane Maddox is pounding him in. Sean and Shane very much have shown themselves to be a very formidable tag team. And I, to be honest with you, I hate to say it, but I had no doubt that Paul Adams would bring in a really good tag team into Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling, and indeed, that is what he's done. Well, I'll tell you what, that's where I'm gonna have to agree because I expected nothing less out of Paul Adams than for him to bring such an impressive tag team, and I think they're gonna give the Naturals maybe just a little bit more than the Naturals are ready to handle right now. Well, I'll tell you right now, they, both of these teams have shown their best in this match so far. The fans getting on to Paul Adams, with the shouts of Towel Boy a little bit earlier, and now they are just really wreaking havoc in the ring as one goes one way, one goes the other side. Suplex coming up. Now it's turned into the backbreaker, going for the cover, and oh, almost a three count and a win for the Maddox brothers. Well, I tell you what, and what an impressive win it would be because let's not forget the Naturals, three time NWA Tag Team Champions. These guys have been doing it together for a long time, baby. And what an impressive victory it would be for the Maddox brothers to defeat the Naturals right here on our program today. Inverted neck breaker that time by the Maddox brothers in an ear count. This young man needs to make a tag. He needs to make a tag, Hot Rod. Well, I tell you what, Andy Douglas is definitely in trouble, but I must say I've been in the ring with Andy Douglas, and Andy Douglas is not a quitter, and he's not gonna quit right now. As you hear the fans coming in saying, go, Andy, go, trying to give him what he needs to get to the corner to tag Chase Stevens. And the Maddox brothers right now cutting off the ring as they are keeping Douglas away from Stevens. And now Douglas beginning to come back. Here's the reversal though, into the ropes, back body drop, sunset flip, roll up, count of two is all he got. Can he yank the tag? Nope, can't get up quick enough. And as a result, again, the Maddox brothers cutting off the ring and keeping Shane at bay. 
Another mark of a successful tag team. They've, they've made effective use of that square circle, baby. They've cut it right in half. They are not allowing Andy Douglas to get over to make the tag to Chase Stevens. And Andy and Chase right now need desperately to make the tag, but Sean and Shane continue to pound away on Andy Douglas, and he has been in the ring for the majority of this match. Here he comes firing back. Weak blows to the chest and to the upper part of the abdomen, and now the drop on the inverted neck breaker again, and almost a three count for the Maddox brothers and a win. Well, I'll tell you the fact that Andy Douglas kicked out of that shows you what kind of intestinal fortitude this kid's got. He is not giving up. Despite the tremendous beating, he's taking it the hands of the Maddox brothers. He ducks one clothesline, he ducks a second, hits it with DDT. a DDT. DDT! But both men are down. You know the tell of the tape right here? We're going to see who gets to their corner first. This could be the turning point in this matchup, Michael. Well, it was spelled as a grudge match. It has been just that. Paul Adams encouraging his man to reach for the corner and does. And, and now the there's tag. the tag to Chase Stevens. And Stevens comes in like a whirling dervish, going to work on both Maddox brothers. Pops him up, sends him to the ropes. There's that boot to the midsection, and look at that kick. That eyes of odd kick, and there is a, the, that's the stunner. He got him with the stunner, got a two count, and that's all. Well, I tell you what, Sean Maddox in there to save his brother from a devastating maneuver by Chase Stevens. And now here he goes, Sean's back and Chase Stevens up into the ropes. And Chase Stevens now reversing the momentum. Now both of the naturals, look at that. Double teaming extraordinaire. Now one of the uh, count of two was all that Chase could get. Andy Douglas, he was pounded in the meantime over on the side of the ring into the apron and he is down on the floor and could be hurt. Well, you know what resilience from all four competitors here. All-Star Wrestling giving you only the best as he's Chase Stevens is propped up on the top rope. And Chase Stevens right now in a very precarious position. And again, the Maddox brothers have given the Naturals all they can handle in this match and are on the very brink of maybe winning this one. But now Chase Stevens is coming back and got rid of the problem. What an impressive move from Chase Stevens. Now Sean over to try and cut him off. Andy in to make the save. These guys are all over the place, Michael. Without a doubt, I think that this promotion has put together two outstanding tag teams. There's a beautiful move. Two, three, that's it. Naturals get the win. Naturals get the win. Naturals get the win. Andy Douglas sacrificing himself for the team. And your winners, the Naturals, Chase Stevens and Andy Douglas. Well, the Maddox brothers obviously aren't very happy about this as they have attacked the Naturals after the bell and after the Naturals got their hand raised. Paul Adams is getting in the ring. The manager, he is ordering his team to do the damage on the Naturals. And right now, the Maddox brothers have the Naturals in a bad way. Well, I'll tell you what, they might not have got the three count, but they just might win this battle after all, Michael St. John. Right now, Paul Adams telling his team what to do with Chase Stevens. They've got the towel around the neck, and they're sending him to the floor, and they're hanging him up with that towel. They are hanging Chase Stevens off the ring with the towel. You know, Chase Stevens is about to be at a loss for not only words, but at a loss of oxygen. They've got, they've already done the damage. Andy Douglas is down on the other side of the, the ring. The commissioner now of Southern All-Star Wrestling is ordering Paul Adams out of the ring. The commissioner, Freddie Morton, has gone to the ring and said, get your team out of here. The commissioner right now, he can handle himself. He's a former wrestler himself. He Don't is ordering Adams. to make Freddie Morton. He is threatening a suspension right here. And in the meantime, Freddie Morton arguing with Paul Adams, giving time for the Maddox brothers to choke the life out of Chase Stevens on the floor, while in the meantime, Andy Douglas being beaten in the ring at the hand of the other member of the Maddox brothers. Well, I tell you what, Freddie Morton, our commissioner's trying to assert 
his position, but he's not doing Chase Stevens any good because the whole time this argument going on, Chase Stevens has got a towel wrapped around his throat, cutting off the oxygen to his brain, baby. And the Maddox brothers have proven what they come to prove today, in my opinion. The Maddox brothers with revenge after the match. And right now, Chase Stevens being, being covered up with a white towel. He is out cold on the floor. Well, the referee's coming from the back to help him out. Paul Adams and his team doing the damage after the match was over. We've got to attend to these men. Let's take a break. The TV title still to come here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Tonight, tonight, Millersville, Tennessee, located at 1214B Louisville Highway, Southern All-Star Wrestling. Tonight, tonight, Saturday, June 16th, bell time, 8 p.m. Seven super matches featuring Eric the Dragon Andrews battling flamboyant Farron Fox. Big six-man tag team action with Chris Michaels, the headliner, and the Maddox Brothers. Also in action, Style and Shane Eaton battles Sean Schultz. Also featured Hammerjack, TJ Harley, and the ladies of the PGWA as Susan Morton battles Marie Montana and Brittany Love takes on the Baroness Simone. And your main event, a return grudge battle as Ben Jordan and Patrick Miller take on the Boogie Woogie Boy and Chris Baum and Miss Boogie hopefully to return this week. All this and much, much more tonight, tonight in Millersville. Main event time here on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling, Michael St. John, Hot Rod Biggs. I know the TV title is gonna be a special title in this organization. You yourself as a former champion know how much a match like this means and this is a situation for both Chris Michaels and Eric Andrews to make a name for themselves very quickly in this organization. Well, I'll tell you what, you cannot underestimate these two competitors. Two of the best the Mid-South area has to offer, and they're gonna go at it right here as the main event of our program today. And you said it, nothing speaks winter like having that gold around your waist. And these two guys, I have no doubt about it, you're about to see them give all they can give for the All-Star Wrestling television title. Well, I know Chris Michaels is an outstanding competitor. He's out here right now. Just like I said last week, I'm getting ready to show everybody right now why Chris Michaels is getting ready to be the new television champion. He's on his way to the ring, and you and I have a long history with Chris Michaels. He can mix it up with the best of them. He is one tough customer, but I got to tell you, I am impressed with his competitor. Absolutely. Let's say, make no mistake about it, Eric Andrews. I hear his music. Eric Andrews about to make his appearance here on Southern All-Star Wrestling. And here he comes now. Let's take it to the ring for action. Championship belt being held in the air by the referee, indicating this is a title match for the first ever Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling television champion. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got only the best right here in All-Star Championship Wrestling. And these two guys, I got a feeling they're about to go at it like they've never gone at it before. No love lost between these two individuals. I've been in the ring with both of these guys on many occasions, and I tell you what, they are going to give it their all and for a shot at this television title. Chris Michaels, we know, can handle himself quite, quite well. And having seen Eric in uh, the last couple of weeks, uh, Hot Rod, I got to tell you, he's quite a competitor himself. You know, nice nobody, shoulder block. Nobody's ever taken anything away from Eric Andrews. I tell you what, he's a tough competitor. He's showing that he's holding his own right off the bat against a legend like Chris Michaels. Look at this. These two men just counting and measuring each other, and you can tell there's several missed maneuvers there because they are anticipating correctly what the other wrestler is going to be doing. Absolutely no easy task. That just goes to show you these two guys are on the top of their game. They come here for one thing, and they've both come 
for the opportunity to walk out of here to be able to call themselves the television champions. Eric Andrews and Chris Michaels for the TV championship of Southern All-Star Wrestling, the inaugural championship match, and we are glad to bring it to you here on TV. Well, I tell you, there's nobody more deserving for a shot at this than Chris Michaels. He calls himself the legend builder. That man right there standing in the middle of the ring is responsible for many successful people in this business. He always feels like he's been overlooked. He always feels like he's got the short end of the stick. And he has got more to prove than anybody in All-Star Championship Wrestling. And I'm not so sure, despite his tactics sometimes, that I don't agree with him because he, too, has had the opportunity for the gold, and this may be his best opportunity yet. And he has taken to the floor. Eric Andrews showing himself quite well in this early going. You know, like I said, we can't take anything away from Eric the Dragon Andrews. I know these fans love Eric the Dragon Andrews. Well, I'll tell you what, as much as the fans love Eric Andrews, I think right now that you have sort of a split when it comes to the fans as to who they think will win the match. Now, who they're rooting for may be something else, but I think this match is as evenly put together, evenly matched up as you could have. Well, you know, absolutely. As Chris Michaels gets caught with the gut shot as he comes off the top rope in a deep arm drag from Eric the Dragon Andrews. And Andrews has the barred arm and has Michaels on the mat, the referee asking him if he wants to give this one up, and of course refusing, and that's gonna take a lot more than an arm bar for Chris Michaels to give this one up. You know, absolutely, Chris Michaels been up and down the rows. I think he's wrestled in every organization from LA to New York, baby, and he is here in all-star wrestling to make a name for himself, to become the champion, and he is not gonna let a little arm bar, no matter how painful it is, He's not going to let an arm bar take away his shot at this television title. Hot Rod Biggs, Michael St. John bringing you the commentating, and I've got to say that you made an interesting point there that he's been in every uh, organization, West Coast to East Coast. That doesn't mean he can't hold a job. That means he's in high demand when it comes to professional wrestling. Hey, you know, absolutely. Chris Michaels, main event anywhere in the country. Promoters all over the world want this guy on their card. And what? how fortunate are we to have him right here in All-Star Championship Wrestling? I had the opportunity to do some of the early matches of Chris Michaels' career. And you could tell early on that he was going to be quite a star. And he's indeed become that. And right now, after that backbreaker, he has Eric Andrews caught. One, two, a two count. And Chris Michaels was almost the TV champion right then and there. You know, we just said that it was going to take more than an arm bar to beat Chris Michaels, and I think it's going to take a little more than what he's dished out so far to beat Eric the Dragon Andrews. Right now, Michaels with the leg underhook. He's got the count of two, and that's it. He almost had him right there, but the power of Andrews coming out from underneath to save a pin. You know, the fans are starting to get behind Eric the Dragon Andrews like they always do. Referee Kurt Heron in there making sure everything's on the up and up like it's supposed to be as Eric Andrews takes a big turnbuckle shot. And right there, Chris Michaels showing he knows what to do when he has a man hurt as he put that back as hard as he could up against those turnbuckles. And as you well know, Hot Rod Biggs, from being in the squared circle and everything I've ever heard is there's not a lot of give in those turnbuckles. Well, I tell you what, you're hitting solid steel, baby, in three different places right there. And what an uncomfortable predicament it is to be slung in there at 15 miles an hour by somebody the strength of Chris Michaels. Whoa, look at that knee drop across the chest of Andrews by Michaels. Goes for the cover. Referee drops down two and almost two and a half. Two and a half that time. Eric Andrews narrowly escaping that pinfall attempt by Chris Michaels. Now Chris Michaels is going to stretch him out a little bit and make him pay for kicking out of that one. In the day, they call this the camel clutch made famous by the Sheik. And Chris Michaels using it momentarily to his advantage. But Andrews quickly dropped to the canvas. And Michaels goes with the reverse chin lock. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris Michael's doing the smartest thing he can do right now because you know as well as I do, it, matter, it makes no difference how good you can wrestle if there's no oxygen pumping through your lungs, baby. And that's what he's trying to do is he's trying to take away the oxygen supply from Eric the Dragon Andrews. And right now, Andrews turning a very deep shade of crimson because perhaps Michaels is accomplishing just that. 
and the referee now is checking the consciousness of Eric Andrews, and nope, he's still breathing and he's still kicking, literally still kicking. Trying to come out from underneath, now regains a sitting position. Michaels holding on to the reverse chin lock. Michaels holding on with everything he's got as Andrews delivers a couple of elbows to the abdominal weight. There we go, and it is a side saddle suplex by Chris Michaels, and this might do it. No. Eric Andrews barely out at the two and a half. Referee Kurt Heron doing a phenomenal job officiating this matchup, Michael. Indeed he is, and I'll tell you, Hot Rod, you want the best official in in a championship match. That is what Freddie Morton, the commissioner of the Southern All-Star Wrestling Organization, has done. He's put good matches together, and he's put good officiating in the ring with him. Well, I tell you, everywhere you go in the world today, somebody calls himself a professional wrestler. But I tell you, don't just anybody walk in the doors here, baby. You've got to be somebody to be here at All-Star Wrestling. And we've got two of the best going for the TV title right here in the ring in front of us right now, Michael St. John. What hell of a competitor's. And Chris Michaels and Eric Andrews. And neither man giving a quarter, and both men very much in this match, even though Chris Michaels has had the advantage going his way for much of this match, both men very much still in this one. Well, I tell you what, I speak from personal experience when I tell you that Eric Andrews is a very, very resilient competitor, and it's going to take a lot to get a one, two, three over him. Well, right now, Chris Michaels with the sleeper hole, the hole made famous by Lynn Rossi back in the day. And right now, we could be seeing Eric Andrews diminish in his productivity in the ring very quickly. Well, I tell you what, man, you can take a look at the solar plexus, Eric Andrews, and you can see he is gasping for air. Chris Michaels has got that front face lock locked on, that front chin lock locked on tight, baby. And Eric Andrews struggling not only for air, but an opportunity to come out of this hold and to come out of this match with that title. With this sleeper hole, of course, it cuts off the flow of oxygen via the carotid arteries in the neck. But I'll say this, Eric Andrews realized once the pole was applied to get down on the mat because then that Chris Michaels does not have that standing pressure that you would have in a prone standing position. You know, absolutely, Eric had the presence of mind to set up. He's trying to get as much can, you know, the old saying goes, when you're in trouble, you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And that's exactly what Eric Andrews, that's all he's got to hang on to right now, Michael. Almost three times, but Eric Andrews finding something down deep here. And Chris Michaels continues to tighten the pressure on the sleeper hole. The television title on the line right here, right now on Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. Eric Andrews drawing on the support of these fans right here as you hear him with the loud, go Eric, go, as he cuts off Chris Michaels and drops him, busts his chin wide open, and let's see what Eric can do with this, Michael. Well, right now, Eric Andrews has the opportunity against Chris Michaels, and he's making the best of it. Michaels, there's the high swinging to kick. Down goes Michaels, caught him again. Right now, Eric Andrews is going to town like a tornado. You know, I don't know where Eric's getting this burst energy from, baby, but I tell you what, he's sure doing it as he gives a gut shot to Chris Michaels. And what a maneuver from Eric Andrews. That is a windmill face buster, I guess, is the best I can call it. I'll have to find out what Eric Andrews calls it. One, two, he almost had the title in his grasp. Well, you can call it what you want, but we're going to call it ineffective right now because Chris Michaels was able to kick out before the three count. Eric Andrews misses with that big roundhouse right, and here's the reverse neck breaker, and down goes Andrews. Michaels rolls two, and I thought he had him. Talk about two men giving all they've got to have going for the gold, baby. I don't think anything's going to stop these two competitors. Chris Michaels now taking his opponent over to the turnbuckle, and the head meets the top of the buckle, and Michaels throwing that hard underhook right hand. Eric Andrews right now trying to reverse and does. 
Both men end up into the buckle. Here comes Andrews. Michaels reverses it. Andrews catches himself and slams him down. Hey, now that was a handful of hair. If Chris Michaels had done that, everybody in the building would be crying. Big flying body press. He hit that flying body press in midair. Both men off the ground. But right now, Eric Andrews has things going his way. What a phenomenal maneuver from Eric the Dragon Andrews. Still not enough to take out the headliner, Chris Michaels. Michaels going to reverse it. Andrews to the turnbuckle. Michaels underneath. And he went down, and he may have pulled his hamstring right there. You know he what? He may have pulled his hamstring right there. Up and over by Eric Andrews, and he come down on that right knee. And I tell you what. Kurt Aaron's over there checking on him, but if I know Chris Michaels, that's not going to be enough. And I'm afraid that Eric Andrews right here, right now, he came down on the knee. He's pulling by the back of the knee, and you could hear it snap when he hit the canvas. And you know, I'm afraid the referee may have to challenge this or may have to, may have to throw the action of this match away. We're going to have to uh, get some attention, I think, here to Eric Andrews. My goodness, holy cow, I cannot believe it here on uh, Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling in our first title match. He is, and look at the sportsmanship being shown by Chris Michaels, and I am afraid Eric Andrews has injured his knee, as I, I, I hate to say it, but that could be an ACL. Well, I'll tell you what. We've been talking about injuries ever since the startup right here. It all started wrestling. All and there's the Chris, Chris Michaels. Michaels that I know and love, baby. I cannot believe this. Chris Michaels going uh -huh. to work on the knee of yeah. Eric Andrews right in front of our announce position here. And now he's pushing the referee. This man has injured his knee. And Chris Michaels is now adding insult to injury and damaging the knee even further. Michael, this is professional wrestling, baby. All is fair in love and war. And we're talking about the television title. Chris Michaels demanding referee Kurt Aaron make his way back to the ring and count Eric Andrews out. And he is being attended to now. He's ordering the referee count him out. Freddie Morton, the, the uh, commissioner, has got the belt, or the belt rather is in the ring. The belt is up for grabs here. The referee counting Eric Andrews. He is down on the floor, writhing in pain. He was being helped up by Chris Michaels, and now he is out of it. Cody X, Steve, all out to assist Eric Andrews. I think the best thing to do is to carry Eric back to the dressing room. He's taking him back Steve to the ring. taking him to the ring. He's What's going on here, Michael? I cannot believe this. As Kodiak has pushed the man back in the ring, Chris Michaels... Eric Andrews is on the match, writhing in pain. Just Listen when you think you've seen it all, Cody X, Steve Hall helps the man back to the ring. And now you hear this, this enthusiastic crowd saying, go, Eric, go. But is it going to be enough, Michael? Has the damage already been done? Uh, hot Rod, I'm afraid you're right. And, of course, Chris Michael smelling blood here has uh, going to work on Eric Andrews again. Andrews out from underneath, whips him down. Look at this. Whoa! I cannot believe what I, I just saw. I cannot believe what I just seen, Michael. Listen to the fans. What a move. And Eric Andrews still writhing in pain. I think he has hurt his knee desperately. And Chris Michael's not happy. Eric Andrews is the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your first ever All-Star Wrestling Television Champion, Eric the Dragon Andrews. And right now, Chris Michaels going to Ric Flair's patented figure four, stretching out that tendon again. And again, Eric Andrews is champion, but he is hurt. And in the ring, the commissioner is coming to the ring right now. Well, you know, Steve Hall had no business sticking his nose in this matchup. He had absolutely no business out here. The damage is done. The commissioner's got something to say as he's trying to relieve Chris Michaels of the possession of that television The title. commissioner and Chris Michaels. I'm the rightful champion. Michaels claiming the title and wins the belt in a very, very controversial, or rather, Chris Andrews wins the belt. 
He takes the belt away. Very controversial. Eric Andrews, I can't believe what champion. I've seen. What have we seen here, Michael? This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. Eric Andrews is the champion. He is writhing in pain. We're going to get him attended to. We'll report back on that to you next week. Be sure to be back right here. Southern All-Star Championship Wrestling. This is just the beginning. Wrestling action coming to the All-Star Arena, Mellersville, Tennessee. Big bell time tonight at 8 o'clock, and what a card of action. In action, Sean Schultz taking on Shane Eaton. The Boogie Woogie Boy and Chris Baum will meet Ben Jordan and Patrick Miller. Hammerjack will be in action. Farron Fox against Eric Andrews. The Baxter Brothers? No, the Maddox Brothers will be in action tonight. In Mellersville, and of course this man, Chris Michaels, the TV champion in Southern All-Star Wrestling. How lucky are the people of Millersville, Tennessee to be graced with such superstar quality talent as the Maddox Brothers and yours truly, Chris Michaels. Now tonight in Millersville, Tennessee, the greatest, baddest tag team in professional wrestling today, the Maddox Brothers and Chris Michaels are not only going to beat people up and bust people up, but we're going to give some wrestling lessons right here tonight. And if... We choose to. We might just end some careers right here tonight in Millersville. Well, I'll tell you, when Southern All-Star Wrestling comes to your hometown, it's great action. It is action that you can take the whole family to. I will say this for the Maddox brothers. These gentlemen have run roughshod through Southern All-Star Wrestling. And tonight, Millersville, Alabama, you'll be there. Excuse me, Millersville, Tennessee, you'll be there. That's right, Michael. Tonight in Millersville, Tennessee, the Maddox brothers are going to be there. And we're ready to prove that we're, without a shadow of a doubt, the best tag team in Northern Tennessee. So everybody, you know, you want to talk about hot action? Where the Maddox Brothers are inside the ring, we're outside the ring. All we are doing is giving hot action no matter where we're at. Well, there you have it, the Maddox Brothers, Chris Michaels, two of the great stars you'll see tonight. All-Star Arena, Millersville, Tennessee, 8 o'clock bell time. Be there.